Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Storm Collectible Street Fighter V Special Edition Zangief, or Zangief. This is the green version of Zangief, which is one of my favorite looks for him. I don't know why, it just... I don't know. I just like it. I don't even like the colors in, on their own, but on this guy, I think they look cool, so... I don't know, but it's a fun one. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just shy of eight and three quarter inches tall which makes him just about 22 centimeters and while he's not a perfect figure you guys saw me review the original one it's a pretty darn awesome figure it's one of my favorite figures in recent history subjectively speaking like i said objectively there are a couple issues here and there but it's a really really fun figure and if you guys haven't ha gotten either of them yet you need to pick at least one of them up there you go you can see him up against his buddy and so you can also notice that this guy has more different than the original than the other variants have. His skin tone is entirely different. It's not very different, but it is different. It's a little bit warmer and a little bit brighter. So that looks really nice up against the darker, like the green and the teal and the white. Very, very cool looking. The scars appear to be about the same, maybe a little bit lighter, but the skin tone definitely is different, so it's, it's a nice addition. He's going to stand out a little bit better uh, on the shelf than some of the other variants, so that's very cool. As far as accessories go, he comes with all the same stuff. We have the three different heads, the whole batch of hands, the uh, lariat accessories, and then of course we have the display stand that all the Street Fighter figures come with. So nothing new there. And then as far as articulation, everything goes. It all it's all pretty much the same. Uh, again, just like the other guys, I haven't noticed any issues with like um, loose joints or any any QC issues like that. So you're pretty much safe if you get these guys. I haven't had any problems with the variants except for Bison had that one bubble on his uh, on his coat in the mold which is going to happen across any figure line so uh, yeah i think you guys were probably good to go if you're into collecting the variants they, they seem to be doing a good job um and you should probably know i have zero contact with storm anymore they just stopped talking to me altogether. so you have even less reason to think i would lie to you even though you guys know i wouldn't anyway uh i have no i, I get nothing out of telling you guys these are good other than helping you guys make better buying decisions so uh, yeah, if you guys like this Storm line, then the variants are definitely a good way to go to add some to your collection. Especially if you're like me and you were collecting the soda figures and doing the variants back then. This will hit you right in the feels. It'll bring it right back and it's so much fun. And there, I don't think there's a game out there with better character designs than Street Fighter. So it's, it's fun to get the different versions of the characters. At least it is for me. Let me know what you guys think about all that. And uh, we'll talk about that in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.